In the contemporary United States, all prisoners except those who pose a security risk or who are full-time students are required to work. What that looks like is farms, factories, call centers, and work on the maintenance of the prison itself, obviously. Federal Prison Industries is a government-owned corporation that employs prisoners in federal prisons. That was 17,000 employees in 2018, but most of the prisoners in the U.S. are not federal prisoners. Here's a little chart from the Prison Policy Institute. Basically, we can see that it's mostly state uh, people in prison in state prisons. Texas, for example, has one of the biggest prison populations, and their version of FPI is this thing called Texas Correctional Industries, and we can actually go to their website if we want to buy some, you know, inexpensive standing desks. Okay, here's a little simulation I put together. The prisoners are going to be represented by these salt and pepper packets. You'll notice they're disproportionately pepper. The commodities will be represented by these pictures of commodities that I put, cut out from airplane magazines. These paper clips are the consumers. The capitalists will be represented by these pictures of Jake Paul. And the, these little green beads are money. Okay, so the capitalists like to make money, obviously. So this is going to happen either in the form of getting more money from the consumers in the form of higher prices or saving money on labor, which is what we're talking about with prison labor, because it's legal to pay prisoners much less than non-incarcerated workers, and in fact legal to pay them nothing in some states. And they're not in a great position to organize, although sometimes it does happen. Some people say, you know, it's good that these salt and pepper packets are working because we don't want them hanging around all idle in the prisons all the time. Well, okay, let's look at an example really quick. In 2017, 1,500 inmates fought forest fires for $1 an hour. These firefighters have said that they appreciated the opportunity to get outside and away from potentially dangerous situations inside. But a literal forest fire being preferable to being in prison doesn't reflect well in our carceral system. The other common argument is the job training argument, that prison work teaches inmates skills that will help them get hired after they get out. First, if we take the firefighter example, it's really hard to get a firefighting job if you've got a criminal record. Secondly, most jobs that prisoners work aren't desirable or even available to non-incarcerated American citizens. Farm jobs are predominantly worked by undocumented immigrants for illegally low wages. Call center and manufacturing jobs tend to be outsourced to countries with less strict labor laws. The skills that inmates are building generally won't be needed for the kinds of jobs that actually exist in the U.S., or those that are are hard to get jobs in if you have a criminal record. In conclusion, the only real utility of prison labor is to enrich capitalists through the labor of people who have even less choice in the matter than the rest of us. Abolish prisons, abolish capitalism. Thank you.